Communicating with Media We all know what happened to the boy in Aesop's fable, the boy who cried wolf, don't we? After several self-interested false alarms, which roused up the village to his rescue, when he genuinely needed help, no one believed him. The same lesson can be applied to a business's approach to media relations. While it is important to communicate proactively, be there before, during, and after the story breaks, and to communicate frequently, if you're issuing an advisory or news release without regard to news, they'll eventually cast you off in that boy crying wolf category. Here's the quick and dirty to remember when deciding whether to poke media, and it's a handy acronym known as NEWS. The N stands for, does it actually fall into the category of what's new? In E, we have evocative. Does it evoke a natural human emotional response? The W? Wow. This is a step up from the E. Good writers can usually manufacture the E, but a truly good story? That's the wow factor. And the S is for substance. Is there substance or believability to your story? A couple more things. Schmooze. Be a consistent and cooperative business practitioner. Being on a first-name basis with your other business partners is important, isn't it? Why should your media relations be any different? Finally, know that media needs you as much as you need media. So in their moment of need, which in many cases is when they need to ask you hard questions, don't dodge, don't no comment them. They'll be more inclined to help you when you have a history of helping them.